This is Earl Amin with the 2020 Foresight Podcast, where CEOs of small to global companies share their insights. It is six questions in nine minutes because top CEOs know how to listen and be concise. So let's get to it. First of all, welcome. And in just a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Well, thanks for having me on the podcast, Earl. My name is Jeff Weber. I'm a veteran, former intelligence officer, and now CEO of Heirloom Cloud Corporation. We are a technology company that serves families. All right. Always good to be in service to families. And thank you for your service. You bet. So tell me, what's the best thing about being the CEO? So I, I go back to my military experience. I love leading men and women. Um, and I would say as, as a chief executive of any organization, you are ultimately responsible for the mission success. And um, I, I thrive on that. My, my years in, in the military um, almost demand that. Uh, and to yeah. do this now in the private sector, um, th that's really, that, that, that's the best thing that, that I consider being the, the chief executive. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Now, throughout my career, I've spoken with many CEOs who say that leading their team and being able to see the road ahead uh, can be a challenge. Your thoughts? Uh, boy, Earl, I've had so many jobs over the years, even before the military. <laughs> and um, I, I don't struggle with seeing the road ahead. And I think that's what really drew me to being a um, a CEO in the private sector. I think I finally found my place, my, my, my calling. Um, I, I think the challenge is communicating your vision, um, both to your team, to your shareholders, to um, mm -hmm. your customers. I, I believe that, that that's probably the greatest challenge for me. Um, I, 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 I'm blessed to work with, with a wonderful team. Uh, that makes this really easy. They, they kind of get it. Um, but I'm also drawn to, um, I, I look towards my youngest son, who is autistic and a genius. The way he looks at the world and his vision is just spectacular. It's just hard for him to communicate that to others. And so it's been yeah. wonderful for me to see that in him saying, okay, what, what do what do I need to communicate to my team? Maybe they they don't see it, and 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 what is that barrier to to taking that vision right. and, and casting it for the team? Right. right, indeed, indeed, very good. Well, you know, throughout your career, uh, the wisdom that you gain from experience. What particular piece of insight do you want to share with other CEOs? Wow, Earl. Um, I would say rest. I, I know. I know. Jeff Bezos talks about this. And, you know, whether it's, it's a four-day work week or the four-hour work day, there's a lot of truth to that. And I remember one position I had where we were required to have white space in our calendar, and mm. I really enjoyed that. I'm. I. I um, like Ecclesiastes 4, 6, it says, um, I didn't write it down because I didn't want to forget it. Um, <laughs> better one handful with tranquility than two handfuls with toil. And mm. I know oftentimes as CEOs or really anyone um, working in industry, um, we just want to go, go, go. And sometimes mm. we're defeating ourselves and, and our purpose and our mission and really just that time to take a break. Yeah. Um, I think it's, it's just so important. It allows you to be inspired. And that's what we require of all good leaders, particularly the, the chief executive officer. Um, I'm also reminded of my time as an athlete. We would spend 50% of our time training and 50% of our time recovering. And, and you need that, that, that muscle to recover before it can then be stretched and torn and built again. And, and I'm sure you understand this. You, you're a big guy, Earl, so you, you understand this. I'm a big guy. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I understand it. Yes, indeed. Well, and again, throughout your, your career, I'm sure you've run into other CEOs who are successful like yourself. Who would you like to give a shout out to? and should be on my podcast. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna mention two, and uh, I have not met either of them in person, but I'm I'm a fan of both. Uh, one is big business, another would be small small business. Um, the first I'll call it is is Brian Halligan. Um, he is the chief executive officer of HubSpot. HubSpot was the number one large business to work for in 2020, according to Glassdoor. Um, we're a partner with HubSpot. We use them in, with our technology. And we just, the, the reason they deliver so well, I feel, is because their employees enjoy working there so much. And so hats off to Brian Halligan for, for what he's done um, over the years with, with HubSpot. Um, also in that same survey on Glassdoor in 2020, the number one best small business to work for is um, a organization, it's a church, Life Church. And it's um, uh, the, the chief executive there is Craig Grishel. Uh, who has uh, another really good leadership podcast on his own? Big fan of of Craig Grishel, and so I would I would recommend boy, reach out to Craig Grishel. He's got some some wonderful wisdom on how to lead a a large, well, at least in my opinion, a larger organization. Um, still qualifies as as a small business in in the United States, but um, yeah, that, that those would be my recommendations okay. to to CEOs. I I, I really admire. Well, I received those. Thank you very much. You bet. Now, Jeff, for the final question, how do you celebrate a win? <laughs> a lot differently than the way I used to. Um, I was previously a, an athlete. And you know, you know, so when you come across the line, number one in a bike race, it's arms up. Yeah. And, and I love that. I mean, that, that's a, a great like metaphor for how we should celebrate a win. Um, Boy, Earl, back in the old days, I thought that it was all me. Yeah. And that that's not true. I had coaches and trainers and mom and dad that drove me, drove me to the races when I was younger. Um, nowadays, I, I, I look towards those that made that responsible. We all stand on, you know, the shoulders of giants. And so first and foremost, I'm going to my team, my contractors, my shareholders, you know, who was responsible, who contributed to this because nothing great was ever done by one person. It was part of a team. And so I celebrate a win by thanking those that got us to where we are. Um, and then what can we do to serve them? You know, how, how can we pay that back? Um, sometimes that's compensation, um, but it could be other things as well, like maybe time off. As I said, yeah. rest is important. So the, the time off, I, I think, is, is, uh, is a, a great way to celebrate a win. Indeed. Well, Jeff, it's been a great pleasure having you on. How can people find you? So I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm, I would, I would recommend going to our organization, which is Heirloom, and that's H-E-I-R-L-O-O-M dot cloud. Um, we're also on, on, on LinkedIn and, and, you know, obviously everything, uh, is, is pretty easy to find. I, I got a, my, my life's a pretty open book. So, um, I do encourage people to, to reach out to me. Um, yeah. And I, I look forward to that. Very good. Very good. Well, this is Earl Amin with the 2020 Foresight Podcast. For more insights, go to LinkedIn and search for The Gray Owl Company. Jeff, thank you very much. This was awesome. Thanks. Cheers. 